In this video, I'll discuss the general journal feature in the accounting module. Start by clicking accounting at the top of the screen, then click on the fast entry menu, and in the left menu, click on the general journal. You can use the general journal to record cash receipts, payments, and new sales. There are two ways to enter data. If you have a large amount of data to enter, you can do a batch upload by clicking option, then click eCount Web Upload, and you can copy and paste the data from an Excel spreadsheet and click Save when you're done. If you click View Details, you can learn more about the required fields and character limits. If you have a small amount of data, you can do a manual entry on the screen you see here. As a reminder, the transactions are recorded as debits and credits in this menu, so there is some basic understanding of double entry bookkeeping required. So to begin, I will record a notes payable, or I'm sorry, notes receivable. Enter a customer if you wish. Enter the amount. And then enter the credit. Select the credit account. Again, enter the amount. And then going over to the Others column, click on the Detail button. And you can register a tracking number for notes receivable and also notes payable. You can enter the due date. And then when you're done, click Save. And as you can see, the button will turn yellow to alert you that um, a number has been assigned to the trade notes receivable. Again, enter a customer again. You can enter comments manually or if you would like to register some comments that will automatically appear every time you have a new general journal, you can do so in the user customization. So click user customization in the upper right corner, then click on function setup in the left menu and you'll automatically be taken to the accounting tab. Scroll down to the very bottom of the screen and you'll see general journal. Click on default comments to register your comments and if you would like to modify this overview screen that you see here where you enter the data, you can click input screen and modify the screen to your desire. When you're done, click Save. Going back to the general journal screen, if you have any remarks that you'd like to enter about the transaction, you can do so. And when you're done, click Save at the bottom of the screen to save the voucher, or click Save and Print to verify the information was entered correctly. Thank you for watching the general journal video.